Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to use Mendeley to do referencing. Actually you can use Mendeley to do referencing for your thesis, for your research report or maybe research article. And uh, you can actually use Mendeley to also do custom referencing. As a case study for the custom referencing, I'm going to use um, UESTC's referencing style um, for master's thesis and also for PhD thesis. I hope you enjoy this tutorials. Um, so let's get started. So first, let's get um, Mendeley from their website. Um, www.mendeley.com so here we go and what well, all that we're going to do is to download the Mendeley software from their website so you just click on the download button and then it leads you to the download page where you can actually download the Mendeley software all right so you just hit on download and then it begins to download. Okay, so the download is going to start very good. All right, so I already have the software on my PC, so I'm no more going to download. But when you hit on the download button, you should be able to download. Here yeah, it's telling me to add duplicate with a numbered file name. That means I already have the file, so I'm going to go for the file right now and then continue with it. It's actually a simple process. I hope you can do that. Okay, so now let's get back to installing the Mendeley software. So here I have uh, the current version, um, 1.17.8. All right, so I'm gonna double click or right click to run as an administrator and then continue with the process. So next, next. You can create a shortcut or you may stop. You go install. Now, if you don't create a shortcut, it means that um, you're not gonna see the icon of Mendeley desktop on your on your desktop actually. Um, so in that case, you can just um, search, search from your windows and you'll be able to find Mendeley and run it. Okay, so the installation is pretty fast and now we are done. So you can you can go ahead to run Mendeley desktop once you finish the download or the installation or you can just uncheck this to run later. But we want to just continue. So here, um, it's quite advisable to sign up actually because if you do, it will allow you to be able to do a little bit of settings um, with your Mendeley application. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Um, if you do not have uh, a, um, an account, you just can click on register to register your new account. But I have an account already, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, so, all right, so uh, Mendeley is supposed to launch up pretty soon. And right now we have our Mendeley set up. Okay, everything is now okay now. Um, you can go ahead and then import documents from your library or you can install um, the plugin for Microsoft Word, actually, which is also very important because if you you are looking forward to use Mendeley in your Microsoft Word, um, actually for your report or your thesis, then you need to get this plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and then do the installation now. Okay, so once you just do that now, it tells me it's installed. I wanna also make mention of the reference manager here. So this one is automatically installed, you know, once you get the Mendeley desktop ready on your PC so we can see here as installed okay but we can then go ahead to import documents um, or library now this basically means that you may have some documents that you want to reference for example 
I am working on a, an article and I download a paper from a journal and then uh, I read that paper, I get some information from that paper and I want to reference it. So I need to just download the document. Okay, and it's actually maybe on my desktop or in one of my folders, I can just go ahead to import it into Mendeley. So that's one way. Okay, so we just go ahead and close it. All right, and here, we are just told to click here to import documents and folders into our library or we can create new entries manually. Later on, I'm going to teach you how to create entries manually, maybe in the next video. Um, but now I'm just going to take you through how to do the referencing style pretty quick. All right, so we just close this up. As you can see here, there are some documents already in my Mendeley desktop. And actually the reason why you see in this here is because I previously worked on an article and I used Mendeley and so all of these files are already here. But then it's pretty simple. You can also create, but um, if you've never used Mendeley, you should be seeing a blank space all over here. So all that you're gonna do is to come over here and click on the add button and this will allow you to be able to add documents to your library so let's just do a simple one here i'm gonna go into my documents where my articles are to get documents and then uh, all right so i can just pick up any paper here and open it once i upload it now you see that the title of the article is here and every other information about the paper is here so the authors and um, the id for the journal and maybe the abstract the keywords and many others that um, you don't necessarily have to enter if you upload the document itself um, but if you're creating it manually you may have to enter some of these things by yourself all right so that's that's how to add up a file to your Mendeley. Okay, so now I want to take you through the interface. Here at the file, you can actually add a folder or you can add files. Um, it's just, just like the same button we clicked over here. So here, add folder. Here you just add a folder of all your documents and you can add entry manually, which we're gonna do in the next video. And you can actually delete documents or you can also import um, reference styles like bib text or endnote and many other of them but we're not going to go there now right and blah 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 so now the next one is uh, here i'm going to show you this view citation style now if you look at the st citation styles here we have american medical association blah 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 triple e and things now once you are able to install for example now we have it that the ms word plugin already installed but if it's not installed when you come to tools you're going to see here to be like install ms word plugin so you just go ahead and click on it and then do it otherwise you will not be able to um, reference with mentally in your microsoft word so once you do that installation then you are good to go to do a little bit of referencing in your Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go ahead to show you how to do that. So now we've learned how to add files. Um, that's the most important for now. And then we've already done the installation of the MS Word. So now I'm going to go to Microsoft Word to teach you how to do the referencing. So here we go. Okay, so now I have Microsoft Word. So let me just type anything. All right, so, and then for example, I want to reference this. So I come to references here, and then I'd say, I do a little bit of refresh. And then here you can see the Mendeley plugin already installed. So I do insert citation. 
and then I have to choose the style for the citation. So, right, unable to start immediately, desktop automatically. All right, so this is just me. This just means that I should just um, close up Mendeley and open again. All right, so I'm going to run Mendeley again. Very good. I think we are good to go now. So, yeah, we try to choose a referencing style. Let's just refresh. Okay, one thing we didn't do is to choose the style for the referencing. Then here we come to view and we can say, let's say, IEEE. And so, we quickly come over here. Now let's try again. Insert. Okay, good. We're good to go now. Yeah, so first. Um, okay, so here we go. We now have all of the referencing styles as we saw in the Mendeley, just like here at the view citation style, right? We see all of them here chicago manual blah 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 all right so it's just the same here so now we we go ahead to choose the style we prefer and let's say i triple e style then we say use this style and then we go ahead to say that all right so once we just say insert citation and then we need to tell mendley the kind of document we need to reference so for example I added um, an article just now, and so all that I can do is either I can type in the topic of the article, or type in the title of the article, or I can just simply type in the name of the author. So once I just type maybe a single letter of the name, I'm going to see a drop down of all of the other articles, which are a little bit related. So let's go ahead and... Uh, for example, you can see I start to type my name because I added my article. So you can see here, now it gives me a drop down of all the other articles that has letters, you know, of authors with these names. Okay, another way is to just search by the title. Okay, so search by the title. So you can do a search by the title, you can do a search by the name of the first author or any of the authors. Yeah. And then you should be able to have a drop down to choose um, the one you actually need to do the reference. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose this one and I'll say, okay. So it gives me the style for reference in here, IEEE. Now, now you can see that I don't have the reference for IEEE here. I, I, I don't see it. All that I have to do is to simply go ahead and, you know, give a title like reference. And then I would just say insert bibliography. Then it does it. Yeah, now we are having our reference and done. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to go ahead and apply the ESTC format to do the referencing. I'll also teach you how to avoid downloading um, the PDFs, but then getting the file online into your all documents folder in the Mendeley and also to go ahead and do the reference and all right i wish you good luck and you can click on the subscribe button subscribe to our channel and i hope to see you later bye bye